All right, this is Rody. Rody, I just rolled for it. You got bottom two, three and four. Jose Ramirez. Has anyone here ever eaten at Wendy's for breakfast? I think Wendy's, obviously, I think hamburgers and stuff. I've never tried their breakfast. Never tried Taco Bell's breakfast either. Only fast food breakfast that I remember eating, Hardee's, Burger King, and McDonald's. And then, of course, breakfast houses like Waffle House and whatnot. But Never tried no Taco Bell breakfast or Wendy's. I've eaten Subway breakfast. I don't think a lot of them do it anymore, if any. I used to make an egg and she egg, egg bacon egg and cheese sandwich on a pita. Once I had breakfast at Tiffany's. I said I think I probably got high. Oh, I've had Chick-fil-A breakfast too. I forgot about that one. Taco Bell breakfast is good. The Yankees have no bullpen. Do they have a cow pen? The Yankees have a cow pen, but no bullpen. Waffle House sucks unless you're drunk. Ain't that the truth? I spent a many a night at 2 a.m. with a group of people hammered at the Waffle House. Just back in the day when you could smoke in them. You could smoke squares right there in the Waffle House. <laughs> Waiting on your eggs. Waiting on your Western omelet. Fernando Tatis. I guess we'll look like yesterday. We'll just look. All these are going to be base and standard rookies. We'll look for the numbered cards and the hits. Hey, that's cool. Babe Ruth Blue. He needed the money. Numbered to 25. We got a Jeter earlier to 25. And we got a 50. Numbered to 50 Julio. Now we get a Babe Ruth getting all the big names in the numbers. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? Okay, Wander Franco. <laughs> That's not a problem for Chris. What? First time I meet Fung, I'm like, hey, what's up, man? We're at the Borgata. I'm like, hey, let's get grab a drink. <laughs> Been waiting in this line forever. Alisa Nacken. Let's go get a cool one while we walk around. Jose Abreu. That one is 99. Bryson Stott. And base. Damn, we get a lot of this dude. He is definitely not a short print. Al Bumbry. Up. 
think you got both autographs, so now it's only numbered cards left. If you have any more. We'll never know until we do. <clears throat> Base and rookies. Okay, box two. We just pulled oh, Juan Soto. We just poured those. Isn't that the first time when we got the drinks? You, me, and Dime, we walked over to the sports book, made a parlay, and hit it for $300 right out of the gate. Then you grab another drink there, but you get club soda instead of tonic, I think. It was not good. <laughs> Al Bumbry with four touchdowns. Okay. Yeah. Club soda sucks. It's got no flavor. It's just bubble water. Don't you want some flavor? I have a scotch and soda, no rocks, no soda. I think he said, I'll have a double scotch and soda. No rocks, no soda. <laughs> tonic is for chicks. I'm not a big fan of tonic either. I like mine with some sort of soda in it. Now, when I used to drink bourbon, I drank that straight with a splash of water. That first two or three, that's Spencer Torkelson, by the way, draft pick. Those first two or three were tough to get down, but after that, there's a Franco. You could just drink them all night long. That's when I was young, though. Lucas Giolito Silver, number to 99. Hi-yo Silver. There's Franco, that version. Is that a short print? Because we never hit that one. If we did, I missed it. Out of like two or three cases. Anybody know? Is that short printed or not really? It says SS. Super short. Maybe that was his position. S, S, S. Francisco Lindor. Frazier. Bill 
Mazaraski Green. Lou Gehrig. Coincidentally, he died from Lou Gehrig's disease. Numbered to 199. Julio, down by the schoolyard, rookie. And babe, how many autographs did we get so far? One or two from this box. Man, there's a mountain of cards. Another Julio, you got two and one. I don't think the other one had one though. Did we get four autographs? Let me see what I pulled. We got some Julios, we got Lou, we got Bill, we got Frazier, Franco, Giolito, Torkelson, Bumbry, and Elisa. We only got three autographs, right? There's the stack, so I gotta go back through this first half. For some reason, these autographs are thin. And more than likely, I missed it. Yeah. We'll go back through it. Take two seconds, or maybe two minutes. Um, the autographs sometimes are thin and they will stick on the back or if the autographs on the front once in a while it'll blend in so let me go find it out of all the years and years of opening archives I've, I've missed the autograph at least 10 times usually because the ink blends in with the jersey or right, it's definitely not in that right then again it could have got shorted but I doubt it more than likely it's in here You just gotta be careful when you're sliding the cards because sometimes one will stick to the back. Lars Newbar. Nothing there. Wouldn't it be funny if it was a Derek Jeter one of one or something crazy like that? Nothing there. Let's try this rack. shorter we haven't seen one box with a short yet though nothing there I think this is the last oh is that it right there <laughs> all you gotta do is look on the side Ronzi Contreras it's a white one where the other ones are tan Ronzi Contreras was the rookie autograph we found it yeah, if you ever want to find your inserts whenever you do a top vintage product, look at that. And then, um, see, there, there's no whites in there. It's all tans. But if you take any hit, it doesn't matter, even this thing. And you put it in the middle. Now look. Well, now look. See how it's white? So if you ever just want to find your hits without going through all the cards, that's how you do it. Anyway, that's it. Thanks a lot, Rody. I'll get this out with the other ones.